Hello everybody, welcome back to GIS World channel. Today we would like to talk about the SQL DML data manipulation language, the action part which help us to create the data, delete the data, changing the data, inserting the data into the table and updating and some other action. So let's start. So as you see, we have the table owner and we have the five columns and we would like to insert, uh, add some values inside the table. So let's start. I would like to use the insert into common uh, SQL, as you see, insert into owner, which is the table name here and the values one will be assigned to the GID title and first name, last name, and city. And if I just run the code, and so let's check, as you see, it was successful. And here, uh, if I just refresh and just see the rows, you see the first row, and you know, here is the GID title, first name, it was added. So let's go to another uh, possibility, how we can add, just uh, I'm saving the time and you know, just I already prepared the, the codes and here we can define on which columns the data to be added, for example. If you have, uh, here we have the five uh, columns and here we have three and the rest will be null. So won't be considered anything. And if I just run the code here, it was successful. And again, refresh and let's see how was the result here exactly we have the gid uh, gid2 and here title was null uh, nothing inside and first name last name and again the city was uh, empty nothing and here is the null so let's go to another uh, possibility and we have even this possibility to use sql code to insert the data into the table here we can consider it's, it's like a previous uh, code but here even you can consider for example this value to be null and you can define by yourself so and if i just run the code you see the result refresh and view all so you see it was null and everything is according to our code so right now I would like to show you how to run just uh, once the code and after that we have uh, like this, these three values. So let's see, uh, I mean if I just come here in the uh, query tool and if I just, you see here, instead of doing this, for example, three times insert into, insert into, instead of those, I would like to just write down once insert into owners values and those so what should we do we can just delete this part and after that i need just to do like this so we need just to you know we can add all those values we do not need this between those values we need just the uh, comma and after that at the end the semicolon so it seems everything is okay and if we run the code will be added but let's see if i just run the code right now let's just copy and it won't work because there is a problem because we have already the data here and if i just see the data here yes we have already the data so let's delete how we can delete the data so let's do it manual things and if i just come here here delete and you shouldn't forget that save data changes and it will be deleted and uh, refresh and if i come again here all rows are empty so again going the query tool and here right now the copy paste and if i just run my code here must work and if i see yes it's a query returned successfully and if i just again check my data it must be added here so it means uh, we run just uh, once and we could add uh, different values in the same time so you can just continue up to whatever you like right now i would like to show you how is that you know if there is a changes into the table can be updated with the, some uh, simple uh, sql command 
as you see here if I just come here I would that this is the code you know update the owner table set the title misses where GID is one so what does it mean and if I just come here where GID if the GID is one and here the title is miss and here must be updated as a misses and so if we run the code the table must be updated and let's see the result as you see here it was the miss and right now is the misses and so let's see another uh, uh, sample and here let's continue with another sample with the geometry data with the special data actually we didn't work on it uh, till now so let's start i would like first of all to create a table which is the ct and here we learned already how to add the uh, primary key and for example name is a, here is the type is the varchar country and here is very important for us because it's the geom is the geometry column and here is the uh, type of uh, your geometry is a line polygon or point and here is the coordinate system srid so if i just run the code let's see what will be created and if i here refresh and the table city has been added and here all rows you see the table has been added name country and here is the geom and we have this option view all geometries in this column right now i would like you insert or uh, add the values in my table cities you see here and if i just show you i already you know uh, copy paste the code here uh, insert into the cities in the cities here is the table name and uh, the column name and here the name of the city and the country italy and here is the code you know to the make point uh, coordinates of the co point and here is the coordinate system srid and if i just run the code you see here the query returns successfully and it, let's see the view the data and data has been added you see here country name and if i just here view all geometry in this column you see the, uh, the point has been added in italy and here we have this you know without any open street map or open layers here and the data can be visualized in this way let's continue with the another uh, sample and if i just uh, come here insert into city again right now we would like to add the uh, bucharest the romania and uh, the same uh, information and if i just run the code uh, it must be added into our table and here must be two and if i just go here the both of them will be visualized into the uh, open layers open street map here bocales and here florence so let's continue with the some kind of you know update and you know giving you know uh, adding some condition in it so right now if you see here in a uh, country italy and gid is uh, two for example i would like you know to consider the uh, instead of the uh, friends uh, florence in uh, as a milan uh, actually i did right and if i i must come here update again here not the owner let's uh, update it together c t's set the name milan here where gid is two it was two if i write here yes here it was two and the country name italy and the name here and so let's see if we run our code how is the result so it was successful and if i just go again here to the all rows you see here instead of the florence the name is milan right now so this is exactly uh, this uh, where and set working in sql we have also this possibility you know to just write it down uh, once insert into the table and you know the columns and the values and here instead of uh, semicolon and here you can just add it the uh, other uh, values here just as, as a sample here and you can just continue in this way and when you are done with your value so you can just continue up to the do not forget between each value just the 
comma and after that again like this and it will be added to your table but at the end the semicolon is the way and you can just run your code and it will be added into your uh, table with one click here just you know execute and running to uh, your code thank you very much for your attention and i hope uh, you enjoy from this video and uh, in next video we will talk about the dql and uh, see you soon bye